This is mom and dad's old place. You don't think that storm? I'm coming that way too. This is the Sugar Chateau uh, Hurricane Laura Hurricane Laura <laughs> cleanup crew, and they've done a heck of a job, a heck of a job for sure. That's right, absolutely. Don't know how much I'm gonna pay them yet. Uh, you know, that's up still up in there. like little tornadoes came through. Yeah. Of course we've got no power now. Yeah. Does anybody got a cell phone signal? Yeah. Yeah? Okay, good. Oh, Pretty bad through here. Yeah. This is we're getting a lot closer to home. This is I'm sure the camera's not gonna do near what we're seeing, I'm sure. Way all these giant trees are gone. It's just weird how kind of thin everything looks now. Oh, look. Look at all the houses and the trees around that house. Oh, golly. Your house looks so good, though. Well, they lost a lot of trees because oh, you used to not be able to see their house. You see their house. Yeah. That is definitely. Oh, God, this is so weird. Look how thinned out it is. This yeah. is just crazy. It's Kelly's house. <laughs> That just hurts my heart so bad. Yeah, it's just terrible. I'm glad they decided not to stay though. Me too. Oh, look at all our trees. Wow, is that 
the Rubenstein's trash can was just completely destroyed. And I lost that big tree right there. Cut that one down, cut that one up. Oh boy, we got a lot of cleanup to do out here. Daisy, our sunflower made it. Yeah, she did. Kind of. Got a little, got a little marred up. Wow. Oh yeah, they're right on the ground. Look at all the trees. Look how ripped up everything is right there. Look at our tree. Look at our oak tree. It's still standing. Oh, lost that big tree. Oh, look at that one snapped off back there behind the pond. Yeah, that's a big one. That's a big one. Oh my gosh. That one goes all the way through to the other side too. I see it already. That goes right through there. Oh my gosh. That'll take some cutting up. That's going to be some work. All the trees are thinned out. I can't believe the trees in front of the house are still standing. The pergola is definitely leaning. It is definitely leaning. I have a feeling we'll be able to save it. Well, look at this. The top fence is gone. Look at that big tree snapped off at the top. It broke our thing in half right there. <laughs> that thing needed to go. Yeah. Look how thinned out everything is. It is just wild. Oh God, it's so weird. It is definitely weird. So weird. Everything's so weird. Oh, Trashed. So weird. All right, well that's that. We're here. Here we are. Night one. For us. For us. Night like three for mom and dad. So we're starting out. Where are you, CJ? There you are. I'm all lit up. Feels like how hers isn't lit up though. Yeah. Neither's mine. <laughs> you can't see anything if I turn mine on. Yeah, light it up. So how is it so far? Hot. It is very hot. <laughs> I feel like all our videos, I'm like, it's hot. It's so hot. I feel like I say it all the time. You do. You say it, it all the time. It is hot. Because it is hot. So what we've done is we've we got two air conditioners, two little units on a generator down these in I these bedrooms see. that we're sleeping in that you can't see because it's dark because we don't have any power. So these videos are going to be so cool. <laughs> um, but I got my squirrel cage fan down the hall. We got the two doors open with the two air conditioners in it. And we're blowing air conditioned air down the hall and into the living room. Maybe, maybe if I do this. How's that? Okay, yeah. Down that hall right there. Yeah, that too. We're using uh, solar garden lights in the house for ambient lighting because... That's pretty brilliant, actually. It works. I got the big ones out there too still we'll go get. Yeah. So that's what we're doing for that. So our to-do list our first post hurricane laura to-do list just started on it but we did this already so we're gonna mark this off yeah first project done how's that feel feels like an accomplishment right but this list is extremely short because of my crazy family who came out here and did a whole bunch of work over the weekend while we were gone yep they're nuts those same lovely people who came and helped while we weren't even here left these sweet air conditioners. And let me tell you what, <laughs> let me tell you what, the rest of the house is 900 degrees. And when you walk through that little door right there with that air conditioner running, you go, okay, I can do this. It's just amazing. I went ahead and did both windows since I, uh, since I had so much of it left over from working on the motorhome. Alright y'all, it's day two of 
post Hurricane Laura and uh, we only have 19 of them before our next wedding. So <laughs> that's going to be fun. Uh, I was just going to walk around and kind of show you all some of the stuff that I've seen in the light of day that uh, 100 mile an hour winds will do. So right off the top we had two uh, rather large chandeliers that hung out here. You can see the uh, pretty good sized chandeliers. One of them fell and went through the top of dad's car. That's the, uh, that's the old flex seal. Yeah, flex seal comes in handy. So the house, the house is uh, covered in mud, dirt, and muck. It is just full of leaves, dirt, mud. It is actually pretty incredible. I have to admit, it's gonna be loud. The generators are uh, the only thing saving us right now. It's pretty bad. It's, I, I don't know if it's coming through on the camera or not, but it is absolutely covered. You ready to go on, Bryce? Just kind of wandering around doing various odds and ends, um, keeping these generators full of oil, keeping these generators full of gas. I'm going to hook mom and dad up to the grid here in a minute, see if we can get their house running running well. And then uh, I'm going to try to hook us up to the grid. Man, there's a lot to do. <laughs> Are your parents like this? So I'm gonna go around and I'm trying to create a new power grid out here for us, make it usable. Uh, I'll show you guys some of the some of what happened out here. There's our pews. Looks like they have come apart in several places. They did not fare too well. Let's see what we can do with that. I'll give you a view of the pergola here. It, uh, it has definitely seen better days. I am hoping we can salvage it. It's not looking good though. It's not looking good. The more I look at it. Oh man. That post appears to be the worst. Hopefully we can do something with this. Barrels are still there. Huh. All right, I'll take y'all over and survey what we can of the motorhome damage. There's the old girl with a large tree laying on her. She looks like she's been in a Hurricane. Oh, wait. She has. So, front wheels are turned to the right. That's how hard the tree hit her. It's a hard turn to wheels. There's one of the air horns up top. What's left of it? Just broke it right off. It's a clearance light, too. Look at there. Up here, we've got a it used to be a power mirror. Looks like uh, looks like I'll have to do some fiberglass work there. Up top, one of the bigger limbs there has crushed the front cab there. That looks a little worse in the daylight than it did last night. Didn't break any windows though. That's pretty impressive. Uh, I mean, look at the size of this tree. Definitely have some fiberglass work to do up there. I'll take y'all inside, even with this tree laying on top. Inside is pretty much the way we left it. 
except there's now stuff everywhere. Because without cabinet doors, when your bus gets hit by a tree, everything flies out of it. This definitely caved in right here. This is definitely, yeah, that gap was not there before. Um, but for the most part, not absolutely terrible. That right there is definitely pushed in. Hey, look, there's my new blower motor I just put in last week. All right. Um, oh, here's the here's the worst of it. This is definitely a tree branch has come through. It has definitely allowed water to come through. Oh no, that's not good. That's not good at all. That's going to be a problem. All right, well, I guess we'll just see how much we want to do to this thing. We'll just see how much we want to do. Well, of course, it looks way worse than, way worse than ever, just because of the fact that we've had it completely ripped apart for the remodel, but... It may be salvageable. The way they made it sound, I thought this whole thing had a tree sitting in it. Look at this thing. It has been through the ringer. Whew. It's a good thing I put all the awnings in before we left. It's a good thing we prepared for a Category 1 storm before we left. Category 1 storm. Alright, so here we are. Here's the tree. It was way up over my head. Here's the, uh, here's where the majority of the damage is. Landed on the air conditioner. You can see over here where it caught the side and actually broke that limb. Do what? Check out my solar panel got the galley vent and uh, it's getting ready to rain so we're gonna cover this up and uh, see if we can at least keep the water out of it figure out what to do later figure out how to salvage it well now it's raining <laughs> now it's raining Hurricane Laura. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Does it even pull back, I wonder? Ooh, like the wind really pushed it in the dirt. It's like sunk in the ground, huh? <laughs> like it stripped some of the paint off of it that I put on there, too. It just twisted it up like a, like a pretzel. Oh gosh. <laughs> Can't even. It was like, so chinchy. Look how chinchy it was. It was so long, it sunk it into the dirt. That's pretty amazing. There it goes, it's perfect. There you go. <laughs> We've been driving around town all day. Looks like a war zone out here. So many power lines down broken off trees over power lines and there's something here that i need to show y'all this is uh actually i had to stop and get some video of this because it's pretty incredible now i've seen the hurricanes blow trees down all the time but i want you to look at this thing snapped in half 10 feet up i mean it's just bent over and broken off I've seen large trucks hit trees, don't even make a dent. That's gotta be one of the most incredible things I've ever seen. Oh 
Look at this. Imagine the kinetic energy stored in that thing right now. Incredible. Let's see if we can get any of this. So here's our cooking station for tonight. Rolling some water for some pasta salad. Found our camping stuff. So we're good to go. Yeah. Generators are still running. We're going to go work on that a little bit. Well, nothing quite beats a cold shower when it's hot. And it was hot again. We got a lot of rain today, it stormed a lot. It's fairly late now, I think it's like uh, 10 30 or something. All the lights are starting to go out because it's they only last for so long. Everybody else is tired, I'm tired. We're going to bed. See you tomorrow.